While Hollywood prepares for its big night in the spotlight, the real contest for the Oscars has been going on for weeks. The 10 films selected as Best Picture nominees for 2009 are. That's just the beginning of a race to influence the fight for Oscar gold is done with everything from ads in trade papers to throwing parties, appearing on magazine covers and on late night talk shows. Why don't they just make a separate category for Meryl Streep? Tim Gray covers the Oscars for Hollywood's oldest trade paper, Variety. There's been mudslinging for years going on at this, and what always happens is everybody's always very polite at the beginning, and then when the ba final ballots go in the mail and the voters have them in hand, the knives come out. The Hurt Locker, already in a tight race for best picture with the blockbuster Avatar, came under fire itself this week. Producer Nicholas Chartier was caught sending an email to colleagues asking for their vote. If you tell your friends who to vote for the Oscar, we will win and not a $500 million film, it said. <laughs> that remark about Avatar violated rules banning criticism of your opponent. Chartier immediately apologized, but was punished. They took away his tickets, and of course, in so doing, he's not going to be able, to, should the film win, to go up on stage to accept his Oscar. The trouble for Hurt Locker didn't stop there. War veterans question the authenticity of the film, and one Iraqi war veteran is suing, saying the movie is based on his life. And at the end of the day, the backbiting and lavish parties may not make much difference. I don't think people vote for something because they, they like the party. Compared to the viciousness that goes on in political campaigns, this is small potatoes. But the box office bounce for some movies after winning the Academy Award is no small potatoes. When Slumdog Millionaire won last year for Best Picture, ticket sales more than tripled, from $45 million to $142 million. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Hollywood.